Hello friends and welcome back to B Pharma Wise. In today's video, we are going to discuss addition reactions of conjugated dienes and we are going to take an example of 1,3-butadiene. Uh, as you know, we are discussing about conjugated dienes. In the last video, we have discussed the structural aspects, stability and methods of preparation. So from this video, we are starting with the reactions of conjugated dienes. So how the addition reactions happen? We will take an example of addition of HCl or HBr means halo acids in 1,3-butadiene. So you know the structure of 1,3-butadiene. Now buta means 4 carbons, diene means there will be 2 double bonds at 1st and 3rd carbon. So if this is my 1st carbon, this is 2nd, 3rd and 4th. So here and here will be my double bonds. And now I will put the hydrogen. So CH2, CH. CH, CH2. This is my 1,3-butadiene. Now I am going to add say HBr into this. So what I am going to get, I will be having mixture of products. So what are the two different products I may have? I can have either, see I will write CH3, CHBr, CH double bond, CH2. So as you can see, this structure is 1, 2, 3, 3 bromo, 1 butene. As this is the substituent, this is the functional group. So we have to consider this carbon number 1. So this will become my 3 bromo and 1 butene, right? So but 1 in. This is one of the products. And then second product I will get is see how how i am writing please pay attention so i'll add hydrogen here ch3 then ch double bond ch and ch2 br okay now what can be the name for this so 1 2 1 2 so 1 bromo 2 butene 1 bromo but 2 in so I can get mixture of these two products. Now as you can see, the products are different than each other. So they are formed by a different method. So this method, this product is formed by 1,2 addition method. 1,2 addition. And this is formed by 1,4 addition technique. So what are these 1 2 addition and 1 4 addition how this hbr is going to add into this which mechanism leads to formation of this product what are the reaction conditions which decide the ratio of these two products so everything we are going to discuss in detail we'll also discuss the mechanism so stay tuned now let's start with discussing the mechanism how the products are going to be formed so HBr is our reagent. So I will write HBr like this. Uh, Br and H, HBr. So this is going to first ionize. Now you know how HBr dissociates. It undergoes hetero heterolytic fission. So both the electrons will be retained by bromine. Hydrogen will be proton. Now one of the hydrogen, I will say it 1, 2, 3 and 4. So from one of the double bonds, this double bond, the pi bond will be giving its electrons to this hydrogen. Now this pi bond is between 1 and 2 carbon. So this hydrogen can technically attach to first carbon or the second carbon. So what the two alternatives we can get in this case, if my hydrogen attaches to carbon number 2, what I will get? See, CH2 as it is, double bond CH as it is. Now this pi bond is broken. These two electrons will be utilized to form a bond with this hydrogen. So if this carbon forms a bond, I will get CH2. Now there will be only single bond and CH2. In this case, as you can see, this carbon is now bearing only three bonds. So this carbon becomes positive. Okay. Now another possibility is this hydrogen attaches to this carbon because the pi bonded pair of electron is between these two. So hydrogen can technically attach to this or this. In this case it has been attached to second carbon. right? And now if it attaches to first, first carbon what I will get? 
CH2 as it is double bond, CH as it is now, here it is not being attached, so CH and here it is going to be attached, so CH3. In this case, this carbon has only three bonds, so this will be my positively charged carbon. Here, uh, here the hydrogen has been attached on first carbon, right? So, as you can see, when the hydrogen attaches to carbon number two, we are getting a primary carbocation, right? And when it is attaching to carbon number one, we are getting secondary carbocation. Now, in a previous video, I have discussed in detail the stability of carbocations and we know that secondary carbocations are much more stable than the primary ones. So this is the carbocation will be which will be preferentially formed. This will not be formed in excess. This will be formed in excess. So now this is being formed. This is the primary car secondary carbocation which will be preferentially formed. Now this carbocation. Now forget about this. Okay. Now forget about this. This is not going to be formed, right? Because it has very less uh, life. This is more stable, so this will be formed. Okay, so I will just cut it through. Now, this is what we are having after attack of proton. This is called as protonation. And protonation to give more stable secondary carbocation is the first step in the mechanism of addition of haloacids like HCl or HBr into 1,3-butadiene, like conjugated types. Now, this is the first step. Now, as you can see, this ion the secondary carbocation has the potential to be resonance stabilized. How I'll tell you. This carbon bears the positive charge. Now here there are a pair of electron, pi bonded pair of electron have available. So this electron pair gets shifted here so that the positive charge on this carbon can be balanced. So what I will get is this CH2 as it is. Now this pair has been moved from here to here. So now what will happen? This carbon hydrogen will remain as it is. The double bond shifts here. The positive charge is now balanced, satisfied because the two electrons are moved here and CH3 as it is now. As you can see, the positive charge on this carbon is now satisfied. But now this carbon has only three bonds. So it has been converted to this. So this structure I will call A and this I will call B. These are the two resonance stabilized forms of the secondary carbocation formed by the protonation of 1,3-butadiene. Okay. Now, now what is happening? This Br minus, right? This is our nucleophile. This nucleophile now will go and attack on the positive centers of A and B. If this bromide ion attacks on the positive center of A, what I'll be getting is if it attacks on A, I'll be having the structure like this CH2 uh, double bond CH here CH Br here the bromide ion will attach and CH3. This is the structure what I will get if my bromide ion attacks on A form and if it attacks on B form then what I can get is here the bromide will be attached so CH2Br and CH double bond CH CH3 now this is what I have written in the first reaction so this is my product 3-bromo-1-butene which I will call as 1-2 addition product. I will tell you why we are calling it so. And here we are having 1-bromo-2-butene. So it is my 1-4 addition product. Now as you can see HBr if I try to add against this uh, double bond as per uh, normal addition one hydrogen will be added here or here and bromine will be added here. So if this is the case, I'm going to get 1,2 addition. So in 1,2 addition, the HBr molecule gets added up against the first and second carbon or any two carbons carrying a double bond. 
right adjacent carbons carrying a double bond then i will get one two addition product and if my hydrogen and bromide ion gets added one hydrogen here bromide here hydrogen here bromide here but what happens in the process as we are adding one atom here and one atom here these two double bonds will be broken and a new double bond will be formed between two and three carbon second and third carbon which you can see here so if i add hydrogen on the first carbon and bromine on the fourth carbon between second and third carbon there will be a double bond formation so this is my 1 4 addition this is my 1 2 addition this is carbon number 1 this is carbon number 2 so as you can see hydrogen is added here bromine is added here so this is 1 2 addition this is 1 4 addition okay so this is how the addition reactions of halo acids happen with conjugated dienes now how we can predict the ratio of products suppose you know, i take equimolar amounts of conjugated diene one three butyl diene and hbr then i will get mixture of these products and the ratio of these products which product is formed in excess and which in a small quantity will be decided by the reaction conditions particularly temperature so this one to addition product predominates at lower temperature so if i keep my temperatures Like minus eighty degrees Celsius, one two product predominates, and if I keep the temperatures like forty degrees Celsius, then one four addition product predominates. So temperature plays an important role in deciding which product will be formed in excess. So now we have seen the reaction of addition of halo acid into one three butadiene, which leads to formation of mixture of products by two processes first is 1 2 addition second is 1 4 addition we have discussed the mechanism in the first step protonation of 1 3 butadiene results in formation of more stable secondary carbocation this secondary carbocation is resonance stabilized so we have got two canonical forms of this structure if our bromide ion which is our nucleophile reacts with a we get one two addition product and if the bromide ion reacts with b we get one four addition product right i hope you have understood and we'll meet soon in the next video till then take care bye bye